we can basically understand when all of our troubles will be no more uh, when Christ returns to this earth. So Revelation 11 and verse 3 says, And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth. Now that's a period of three and a half years. And during that three and a half years, things are not going to be good down here on planet earth. Uh, are these two witnesses chosen by God? Yes, they are. Are they protected during their ministry? Yes, they are, but their ministry is right here on earth, which tells us something very important. God can protect you. God doesn't have to snatch you away to protect you. He doesn't have to rapture, rapture you away to protect you. These witnesses, two witnesses, are protected for three and a half years. Now let's notice Revelation 11 and verse 5. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceeds out of their mouth and devours their enemies. Well, that's pretty cool. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. Are they raptured away? Absolutely not. When God needs a witness, they are in there in the heat of things. It's never made sense to me that when the world is going to hell and God needs Christians the most to be a witness, they are all raptured away. They're all gone. You know, no witness for the world. You know, that's, that's never made any sense to me. Let us notice what happens to them at the end of their ministry on this earth. Get this. They are not raptured away. Revelation 11 and verse 7. And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascends out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. This doesn't sound good for the home team, does it? It doesn't sound good for Christians either because they are here on earth and they uh, are not raptured away. Now, 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 you have to understand, Christians being martyred for their belief has been something that has occurred from Genesis to Revelation down through history. And, but, okay, so we got we to gotta wrap our minds around this. But let's notice what happens next. Revelation 11 and verse 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God enters into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Yeah, they come back alive. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up into heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. What is this? What are we talking about here? We're talking about a resurrection from the dead. Well, what is a resurrection from the, from the dead? It's when dead people come back to life. Now, if you'll just keep reading on down just a few more verses, it's Revelation 11 and verse 15. It says, And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven, saying, The kingdoms of this world are become, become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. Everyone knows what this seventh trump, trumpet blast is all about. It's about the feast of trumpets. It's about when Christ returns and resurrects the dead. Notice the language again. And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. This is the moment that I'm looking forward to, the transference of power from man's government to God's kingdom on this earth. So what happens when this takes place? Well, it's, it's the resurrection. It is the return of Jesus Christ to this earth. Revelation 11 and verse 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud. This corollates with 1 Thessalonians 4 and verse 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. That's that seventh trump that we talked about. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. So this is one and the same thing that is taking place when the two witnesses come back alive again, Christ returns and the resurrection from the dead takes place and the saints that are alive on this earth are immediately changed from flesh to spirit. Check us out on the web at isthatreallyinthebible.com.